As my kids are getting older, I'm really focusing on training them to see Jesus in all the aspects of their life. And as I do this, it actually helps me reorient my heart where I've gone a little bit astray. Nobody likes to talk about money, especially in the church. I know it's super uncomfortable for my pastor when he has to stand up and give us sermons on giving to the church. In fact, some of you might be tuning this out right now and clicking exit because we're talking about money today. I know that because I do the same thing on the radio when I hear a pledge drive coming on my Christian radio station. But if I want to teach my kids about how to use money in godly ways, I have to think about it myself. What I've been pondering lately is that money can excite us if we look at it the right way. We get to be good gift givers like Jesus when we give to our church. The Apostle Paul was an early church leader who also was a tent maker. It seems there had been some grumbling in the Corinthian church, one of his church plants, about paying him for his work because he addressed the concern in his letter. His response really hit me today too. He said, if we have sown spiritual things among you, is it too much if we reap a material harvest from you? I had never thought about money that way in relation to spiritual giving. My pastors are doing such a good job serving our church. They love us in so many ways, and yet sometimes my heart is still greedy and doesn't naturally want to part with money. I need Paul's words, and I want to teach them to my kids to reorient our hearts and eyes to see the spiritual blessings that our church leaders are sowing in us. They help us know God better. They pray for us. They remind us every Sunday of the gospel. Those gifts are worth so much more than I could ever give with paper dollar bills. So if you want to grow your giving heart, think for a few minutes today about how full you feel every time you leave worship at your church and let that lead your physical gift back to those who are serving you.